Are you looking for an affordable, lightweight e-bike? Then you'll love the Rad Mission. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you'll certainly live amazing with the right e-bike. And if you've been shopping at all, you know that they're not so easy to find. You most likely have to shop online. And there's even been an e-bike shortage. Yeah, the, the demand for e-bikes just seemed to skyrocket in the last year or so. I've heard sales are up 700%. So we actually have an e-bike shopping video that we will put a link to. And we have an e-bike playlist because this is not our first review but it is our first review of a bike that's right around a thousand dollars yeah $10.99 to be exact right now but I was looking at them online yesterday and they had a hundred dollar off offer we'll have a special link for you with the best prices that you can get the rad mission comes with a 500 watt geared hub motor which is pretty big for this price point a 48 volt 10.5 amp hour battery 27 and a half inch wheels and it comes with an integrated headlight and taillight. And it weighs how much? 48 pounds with the battery, which is the lightest e-bike that we've reviewed so far. How much does it weigh without the battery? I would guess the battery is probably eight or nine pounds. We've had a lot of people on the channel asking for a bike they can lift. If you are new to e-bikes, e-bikes are typically heavy, like 65, 70, 75 pounds is not unusual. This feels so nimble. It's a pretty simple bike. It's, it's a single speed. There is no derailleur to, to have to adjust or deal with. Don't have to change speeds, gears, or any of that right. stuff. If you need extra help going up a hill, you just twist the throttle. It will give you that boost you need. I was really surprised by the Rad Mission of how much I love it. Most of the bikes that we've done reviews on have been around 2,600. This $1,000 bike has been so much fun. It has been our go-to bike. If you don't know, we're full-time RVers. And every time in the campground, instead of getting out our expensive, fancy bikes, we get out the Rad yep. Missions. If I had a house and with a garage, then, then this would be in the garage. The number one thing that people always ask us about e-bikes is what? The range. How far can I go on a charge? Rad says 45 miles and, and I'm sure you could get that if you just kept it in assist level one or two and, and didn't push the pace real hard. We got right at 30 miles is, is, is what we determined the range to be. But we like to go fast. We, we tend to ride them at their maximum available speed. I think you could get 40 if you're just tooling around conservative. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When we ride, we ride with a mission. We ride our ride mission with a mission. Well, mm -hmm. let's go to the next question about speed. How fast do you go? Because this bike is a single speed, the way I use it in the hills is to change my pedal assist level as if I were shifting gears. I've got a little hill coming up here and I've got two choices. I can use the twist throttle to assist me going up the hill or I can just bump the the uh, pedal assist up right now I'm in level one and if I take it up to level three of three of four it pretty much makes the hill disappear okay we're on a slight grade right now and I'm in level one I'm gonna take it up to level three and the hill has just disappeared in fact, I kind of have to hold my pedaling back a little bit. I was probably doing 18. If you don't want to pedal at all, if you just want to cruise, mm -hmm. it's just so easy. And the top speed on the twist is how much? 20 miles an hour. The top speed with the, with the pedal assist? 20 miles an hour. It's, it's a class two bike, which means that you're limited to 20 miles an hour. But it also means that it's more compliant with different state parks and, and trails that you go on, that mm -hmm. it's, it's class two e-bike compliant. It just feels like a regular bicycle that is giving you some help. You know, I think this bike is perfect for someone who hasn't ridden for decades, and or maybe you have been riding, but you're getting tired of working so much, particularly up hills. This bike would be the answer for that. You have that assist when you need it. You can work as hard as you want. And let's say you work really hard and you're halfway from home and you're tired. Well, you don't have to worry about saving enough energy to get back. You can just throttle on home. So who is this bike not for? Well, somebody like us that we do regularly 30 to 40 mile rides and we like to do them at 23 miles an hour, 24 miles an hour is, is our kind of our cruising pace. This bike 
just doesn't do that. I mean, you, you could possibly get 22, 23 miles an hour out of it, but you would be spinning so fast, your cadence would be so fast, that, you, that it would just be uncomfortable to do that. So if you're a serious rider and you're used to putting in serious miles, then this bike is not for you. No, you'd want something that has a, a higher gear, something that will allow you to go faster uh, with the same effort. In the Rad line, I would go with the Rad City if I wanted a commuter bike. And if you're looking for a fat tire bike, so if you want to go on trails, now it will be a heavier bike, but Rad does have several fat tire bikes that you can look at. Even though I consider myself a semi-serious cyclist, I like not having to change gears. I find that just, you know, it's, it's, it's fun not to, not to have to change yeah. gears. I don't need to. I One can... less thing that you have to deal with. You've got 100, 180 millimeter disc brakes on these things, front and rear, and, but they're mechanical, they're not hydraulic. But, but you but, don't need it for 20 miles an no, hour. No, for 20 miles an hour, they're, they're more than sufficient. All right, so let's talk about the downsides of this bike. Yeah, one of the ways that they keep the price point down is by decontenting it. They did away with the kickstand. Now, they do sell a kickstand for it that uh, you can buy. Unfortunately, when we got these bikes sent to us, they were out of kickstands. So just know that if you order the Rad Mission, you're gonna wanna order a kickstand yeah, too. Yeah. And there's a lot of accessories which you wanna check and make sure that they are compatible because not every accessory Rad sells will fit the Rad Mission. If they're still out of kickstands, you wanna buy one of these bikes and they're still out of kickstands, we will put a link in the description for a clamp-on uh, kickstand, which is what we have on, on this bike. We only had one, so we only put it on the one bike. Now, if you do buy an e-bike, and this is probably going to be your first e-bikes, we recommend a couple things. We do recommend that if you're a couple, that you get matched bikes. This is so important because you want to make sure that your range matches and your speed matches. And Paul and I have had bikes that didn't match. And so one person's waiting for the other yep, or yep. one person has to turn around sooner. So if you're new to e-bikes, you're going to need a rack that is specific for e-bikes. E-bikes, even these light ones that are under 50 pounds, exceed the weight capacity of the traditional bike racks. Another thing that we also want to talk about is theft. You'd be surprised, you could be out in the middle of nowhere and your bike could be stolen because it's that hot. So we do recommend yep. either a locking bike yep. rack. We have a video about tips for e-bike security, yes. things you can do like cover your bike, lock your bike, um, just keep it out of sight. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. So we have a special link for you that will give you the best prices for any of the Rad Power line. We appreciate you using that link and we cannot wait to see you on the bike trail. Yeah, love to see you out there and, and, and ride with you for a while. Let us know in the comments how you like your Rad.